eine Millionenstadt mit Strom versorgen. 1985. Hello everyone and welcome to a one-off model airport update of Palm Springs International Airport in Palm Springs, California. This is a very interesting and a very unique airport as, as well. One that will definitely be fun to do in the one-off series. Once again, I have a guest with me today, my friend James. Please say hello. Hi. And he'll be coming on with me for the update today. So my question for you is, why did you pick this as your one-off model airport? Okay, so I picked the Palm Springs International Airport because I go there almost every year for spring break uh, because it's right by where my grandparents live in California. And I've just found it to be a really cool airport because it's just kind of like outside and in the open and it's small and just easy to navigate through. And it's an interesting airport and I've never been, another, never been to another one that's similar to it. And that's actually very true. I looked it up on Google, uh, Google Earth and this my model here is actually quite an accurate representation here that there's just kind of this, these islands here, you know, these two islands, then the main terminal here where you get in the baggage claim and check-in area. But then you have to walk outside to the terminals, which is so unique and so fun. And I definitely want to try out uh, Palm Springs Air Force to see that. Uh, I think that'd be very fun to do. Um, and of course, since it's in SoCal, the weather's always nice there and it never rains as well. It's always a drought, so uh, very low likelihood that it will rain and a very high chance that it'll be very nice outside. Here is a United Express CRJ-200 operated by SkyWest. This aircraft came in from Denver and is now tax taxiing out to the active runway for its flight back out there. And then next up here, moving into the terminal now, we have this Delta Connection Bombardier, so it's Mitsubishi. CRJ900. Uh, this one is operated by SkyWest, and uh, this one came in from Salt Lake City. And so we do the turn around back out there. Salt Lake City is Delta's only route from Palm Springs. Next up, we have this Alaska 737-900 with similar or scimitar winglets. This aircraft will be doing the Seattle turn today. Good pronunciation of the scimitar, by the way. And behind that, we have the Alaska E-175 in the honor and goes to serve livery. Uh, this flight is operated by SkyWest, and this one came in from San Jose, and it will be heading out to uh, Portland PDX. Just pulling into the gate, we have the Southwest 737-700. This one is making its way in from Las Vegas, and will have continuing service out to Denver. And here is the American Airlines 737-800. Uh, this is with the new inlets. The actual aircraft did not have these new inlets, but uh, this is my only American 738 for the time being, so I kind of have to use it. Um, but this one, this one came in from DFW. I'm doing the turnaround and heading back out there. Uh, just qu qu quickly wanted to mention here, I really like the hexagonal, or the octagonal design, rather, of the uh, terminal here in Palm Springs. Really, really nice, of course. And they also technically call this the International Terminal. And I guess it's because they get one, in or one something, two international flights a day on WestJet. Uh, WestJet flies here from... Calgary and Vancouver, so I guess I guess that was enough to call that the international terminal, even though they only get WestJet and the rest of it is all domestic travel. Oh, and by the way, this little terminal here, this is called the uh, <laughs> the domestic terminal. I'm not quite sure where United Parks. I just haven't parked there. We'll get to that part next. But still a very cool airport here, and um, I just kind of wanted to share the layout a little bit because it is pretty unconventional from what. Uh, Normally, uh, I've shown these one-off model airport videos, and I can't represent it too well, of course, because uh, you know, I'm just doing this on a tile floor. But uh, still, I just wanted to showcase the design a little bit here of Palm Springs. Here is the United Express CRJ700 in the Evo Blue livery. This one is doing the San Francisco turn today. And behind it, we have the United Express CRJ200 as well in the Evo Blue livery. Uh, this one came in from Denver, and this will be doing a turnaround, hang back out to Denver. Finally, we have the American Eagle CRJ-700 in the SkyWest House livery. This aircraft came in from Phoenix, and it will be doing the turnaround back out there. So uh, there you go. That was the Palm Springs International Airport update. Uh, very fun update, of course. Uh, Palm Springs is a very interesting airport, and definitely suits my collect collection very well. So uh, very interesting here. And uh, definitely a place I want to check out in real life because the uh, just, it is really outdoor. 
um, kind of uh, involving nature in the airport. Always something that I want to see here. And uh, fun airport up to, to, to do right here. So thank you, James, for joining me in this one. Yep. And, uh, well, we'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen.